Hello everybody, and a very warm welcome to LMT YouTube channel. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry are spending coronavirus lockdown in Los Angeles with their son Archie, but they have been keeping in close contact with their charities back in the UK at this difficult time. Meghan Markle has spoken out for the first time since moving to Los Angeles as she chatted to women she worked with to launch a charity cookbook via video call. Showed up and you, were, you all had it in you. And what was so great is you look back at that first day and then however many visits later and going, yeah, we're just going to make a cookbook, not realizing, knowing and having a lot of faith in what you guys could bring to, to the table and what you could inspire, but obviously not knowing what a huge success it was going to be. But that's just a testament to you. And what I love, again, is that it's just inspired so many people. She used Zoom to catch up with members of the Hub Community Kitchen as she asked them to set up a food service to make sure vulnerable people in the Grenfell community don't go without during the coronavirus pandemic. The new plan, which will launch next week with support from the The Felix Project, is part of the Evening Standards Food for London Now appeal, which is raising cash to deliver food to poor and elderly people in the capital. Megan said, the spirit of the Hub Community Kitchen has always been one of caring, giving back and helping those in need, initially in Grenfell and now throughout the UK. A home, cooked meal from one neighbor to another, when they need it most, is what community is all about. I'm so proud of the women of the Hub Community Kitchen, and the continued support the Felix Project gives them to carry out these acts of goodwill which at this moment are urgently needed. I'm equally moved by the many people who are contributing to the Evening Standards campaign to raise money for these vital organizations in the wake of COVID-19. Megan suggested the idea this week, and working with the Felix Project, the volunteers will start batch cooking in their own homes and then delivering between 250 and 300 meals to families three days a week. Chef Claire Smythe, who cooked at Meghan and Harry's wedding and has worked with both Hub and Felix Project, has also been supporting, said, The work of the Hub Kitchen and the Felix Project is a powerful force for good in our community. Their work has never been more important than at this time. Countless charities are more in need now than ever. We must all join forces to take care of the most vulnerable in our society. Providing healthy and nutritious meals is crucial to helping people get through this. Mark Kirkin, CEO of the Felix Project, said, The Felix Project is proud to provide Hub Community Kitchen with the nutritious food they need to cook delicious meals for local people for whom this service provides a crucial lifeline. The women of Hub Community Kitchen came together in the face of tragedy, and they have stepped up yet again in the face of a global pandemic. At the Felix Project, we have also scaled up our operations very quickly in order to ensure we can meet the increased demand the crisis has created, both here in West London and across the capital. We stand together with all of our partners to get food to people most at risk of experiencing hunger and malnutrition in this time of need. Meghan and Harry have been secretly delivering food parcels to people in Hollywood who are unable to get food. They were pictured dropping off bags of food while wearing face masks and gloves. Another report. Meghan Markle is protective of brand Meghan. While everyone knows that the royal family members are notorious for putting forth a specific image, Meghan, Duchess of Sussex, has always managed to do so while bending the rules just a bit. She is very secure in who she is, and one of the things that fans admire most about her is the fact that her confidence is pretty much unmatched. It is safe to say that it wasn't exactly easy for Meghan after she married Prince Harry. She took an excessive amount of backlash in the British tabloids, which, as we are all well aware, was one of the main reasons that Meghan and Prince Harry decided to step down from their positions as senior royals. Unlike her husband, Meghan certainly wasn't born into royalty. She was not famous growing up, 
and had to work hard to establish herself as a successful actress. Ever since she landed her big break on the legal drama suits, it seems that Megan has had so many amazing accomplishments that she is extremely proud of. Now, a royal biographer is saying that Megan is protective of brand Megan. Let's take a look. From a California girl to the Duchess of Sussex. Megan was born and raised in Los Angeles, and she is truly a California girl at heart. It wasn't until she took on the role as Rachel Zane on Suits that she moved to Toronto, where the show was being filmed. From there, Meghan went on to enter into a serious relationship with Prince Harry, and Harper's Bazaar reports that she officially moved to England in 2017. The United Kingdom and California are different in so many ways, and we can only imagine that Meghan's new surroundings took some getting used to. However, after marrying Prince Harry in May of 2018 and becoming the Duchess of Sussex, Meghan was pretty adamant about moving forward in the most positive way that she could. Meghan has always projected a sophisticated vibe. It seems that Meghan is pretty much known for being as classy as they come. She always looks great, and she certainly knows how to handle herself with grace and dignity in any situation. It was evident from the very beginning that Meghan was a wonderful actress, and as her fame continued to grow, she knew that she had to be as sophisticated as she could. Meghan wanted to be seen in a certain light, and made it a priority to ensure that she was always giving off a very specific vibe. Chances are, the Duchess knew, even years ago, that as an actress and humanitarian, she was always being very closely watched, and that she needed to do what was necessary to establish an excellent reputation as someone who is poised and refined, which is exactly what she did. Meghan is protective of her brand. It is no secret that neither Hollywood life nor royal life is easy, and Meghan is one of the few people who can say that she has experienced both. So, what does royal biographer have to say? Well, he feels that she is very protective of brand Meghan, according to Imogen's. This could easily be seen when Meghan was married to her first husband, Trevor Engelson, who was extremely different than she was. Meghan was more conservative, while Engelson was laid back and spoke his mind. Andrew Morton, a royal biographer, wrote that Engelson was very different to his then bride, to be who, as her former colleagues on Deal or No Deal observed, was always very self contained and considered. Morton added, Trevor Luce, lipped, unconcerned, carefree, a striking counterpart to Meghan, who was archly protective of brand Meghan, always keen to project an air of sophistication and style. Looks like Meghan is well aware of the fact that a lot of hard work went into having people see her the way she wants to be seen, and we can't blame her for being protective of her image. Another analysis. Meghan Markle was the oldest woman to ever marry into the royal family. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry tied the knot back in 2018, and they've been trying their best to live that happily ever after, ever since. Meghan is more than three years older than Harry, and they had quite the whirlwind romance. They were engaged, married, and parents all within three years of meeting. And before Meghan, Kate had been the oldest woman to marry into the family. Royal women tend to be young when they join the family. Years ago, it wasn't uncommon for royals to get married at an extremely young age. Clearly times have changed, but up until Meghan and Harry's royal wedding in 2018, no royal bride had ever been in her thirties when marrying a prince. Princess Diana was only 19 when Prince Charles proposed. The two had been on 12 dates before he popped the question. But that's in part because status played just as much a role in royal marriages at one time as love did. Sarah Ferguson married Prince Andrew when she was 26, a more common age to wed. Sophie, 
Countess of Wessex was also 26 when she married Prince Edward. Meghan Markle broke barriers when she and Harry started dating. There were a lot of things about Meghan that were unconventional to the royal family. Meghan was an American, something uncommon and new to the royal family. The Duchess had also been divorced once already before meeting Prince Harry, which, only one generation prior, would have still been considered taboo. Plus, Meghan is biracial, something that is also extremely rare within the family. And Meghan was 36 when she walked down the aisle, the oldest female working royal to ever marry into the royal family. Kate Middleton was previously the oldest royal bride. Prior to Meghan and Harry's wedding, Kate Middleton held the title of the oldest woman to marry a British royal. Kate was only 29 when she and William Wednesday, which goes to show how young the average age of British royal brides has been throughout the family's deep history. William and Kate were married only a few months after Kate's 29th birthday, but people had been putting pressure on William to propose since before Kate was even 25. The two women are also the only royal wives with college degrees. Some royal fans have pitted Meghan and Kate against each other, and for quite a while, there were rumors of a difficult feud between the two women. But they're actually more alike than we thought. They both were commoners who married into the family at an older age than the British royals are used to. Plus, they're the only two women with college degrees to have married into the family. Certainly, that will change over time, since it's likely frowned upon to not have a degree at this point. Kate graduated from St. Andrews University in Scotland, where she met William in 2002. The two graduated in 2005. And Meghan received her degree from Northwestern University in Michigan back in 2003. So there you have it, that's all the news on Meghan and Prince Harry situation today. As always, thanks for listening. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and press that notification bell. If you want to be notified of future videos. Thank you. Stop.